November 16, 2012, Texas, the Lone Star State, has a backup plan if their petition to uh, peacefully leave the Union, the United States, and form their own government, if it's denied, they got a backup plan for keeping the feds at bay. This comes from WorldNet Daily. I'll put the link below. Presumably, a proposal being developed in Texas right now won't be necessary should its petition on the White House website to succeed from the Union be successful. But if not, the Lone Star State apparently wants to be prepared to challenge whatever it views as a federal encroachment on the rights of the state or its citizens. So it will be reviewing a legislative plan that not only would make it illegal to cooperate with the Federal National Defense Authorization Act in Texas, but could make an offender subject to a year in jail and a $10,000 fine. Good for Texas. The NDAA was signed into law by Barack Obama, Obama at the end of 2011, and it includes sections 1021 and 1022, which, in essence, create a new power for the federal government to indefinitely detain without due process any person indefinitely. That's what all different than kidnapping, said a report from the Tenth Amendment Center, which focus, which uh, focuses its work on the rights reserved to the states and the people under the federal constitution. And y'all people are wondering that are asleep. How could all 50 states petition the White House to leave the Union and the corrupt government? Michael Bolden, the center's founder, told WorldNet Daily, with four more years of the man who not only signed indefinite detention into law, but has vigorously defended it in court, there is absolutely zero chance for repeal in Washington, D.C. Our last hope is to stand up and nullify. He cited House Bill 149. The Texas Liberty Preservation Act significantly finds the truth the Tenth Rather Amendment to the U.S. Constitution lets Washington exercise only those powers specifically delegated to it under Article One, Section 8. The bill itself explains that the President has asserted that the authorization for the use of military force enact, enacted in 2001 authorizes the President to indefinitely detain without charge any person including a citizen of the United States or a lawful resident alien regardless of whether the person is apprehended inside or outside the borders of the United States of America. The NDAA section significantly allow indefinite detention of persons apprehended within the United States without charge or trial. That, however, violates the Texas Constitution, the limits of federal power authorized by Article 1, Section 8, and the legal doctrine of posse Comiteus. Oh, and it also violates habeas corpus, the First Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment, the Eighth Amendment, the Fourteenth Amendment, the legislation explains. Wow, that would be the right to petition government, being free from unreasonable searches, the uh, pro prohibitation of the deprivation of liberty without due process, a speedy trial, the ban on cruel and unusual punishment, and others. Since those sections 1021 and 1022 violate portions of federal law, the United States Constitution, and the Texas Constitution, they are invalid and illegal in Texas, the legislation says. But it goes further, a lot and specifics that a person who is an official agent or employee of the United States or an employee of a corporation providing services to the United States commits an offense if the person enforces or attempts to enforce a statute, a rule or regulation, an order, or any law of the United States in violation of this subchapter. Such violations would be punishable by a jail term of a year and a fine of not more than $10,000 or both. Rep. Larson will likely be derided by the establishment. So if you live in Texas, he deserves your praise and relentless support on this issue. I'm going to put the link below. There's a little bit more. Making a stand in Texas against the NDAA, National uh, Defense 
Authorization Act where they can detain American citizens without trial, without jury. Texas, they're getting tough in Texas. Leave me uh, your comments, everyone. We're going to have to see how this all unfolds. We know, I mean, to be honest with you, we know now all 50 states have signed the petition to leave the Union and form their own peaceful government. You don't really think Barack Obama is going to grant these petitions. There's nothing else left. I hate to say it, but civil war. Leave me, leave me comments. Chalk one up for Texas. Yeah.